here back on the Dr. Dahlia Show. Thank you all for tuning in. one 877 doc one 877 docdali So a common complaint many of you guys have had is why haven't more doctors spoken out? They have. It's just, you know, we get silenced. We're being told it's misinformation. And um, we doctors have had opinions. And one doctor I spoke to you guys about, um, um, half of the Durham Bros, remember we spoke about the Durham Bros last year, um, is that going to now join us, Dr. H.L. Greenberg, board-certified dermatologist, founder of Las Vegas Dermatology. He lives in my neck of the woods in Southern Nevada, actually completed a residency in internal medicine at Georgetown University Hospital spent a month working at the NIH, and guess who his attending was during the, his infectious disease rotation? Dr. Anthony Fauci. So Dr. Greenberg is here uh, to join us and you know talk to us about his thoughts of all the craziness that's been going on. Dr. Greenberg, thank you so, so much for being here with us. We really appreciate you. Hey, Dr. Dahlia, thank you so much, and uh, I really appreciate you having me on the show. All of your posts have been fantastic, and it's nice it's nice to see a like-minded physician online talking about these things, just knowing that there's uh, more than one opinion on, on the common dialogue that's been happening. Exactly, exactly. And I'm one of your biggest fans. So you are, and by the way, he is gorgeous, everybody. All right. You know, this is a gorgeous dermatologist. So yeah. Okay. So <laughs> get ready for this next interview. So, you know, so Dr. Greenberg, you have been, okay, so, you know, dermatology, uh, you know, looking at this virus sure. and COVID, uh, you know, are you just as blown away with your training at the NIH? Have you ever seen anything that acted like this virus b- before in, in your training? Um, well, yeah, I mean, we've, we've known about infectious disease for a long time. And when I spent my month at NIH uh, doing infectious disease with Dr. Fauci, uh, you know, I was N95 fit tested before the rotation. I shaved every day before that rotation because I knew I was going into a room with somebody who had, you know, HIV, AIDS, and tuberculosis. And I'd go through, you know, an airlock chamber into that negative pressure room. I'd wear my N95 fit. You know, for that 30 or 40 seconds I was in the room because I didn't want to get TB. And then I'd take that mask and throw it in the trash when I left. Mm-hmm. And that's, you know, how, how I dealt with those diseases at that time. Uh, as for COVID, uh, I got COVID in January of 2020 before it was a thing because the CES show was here in Las Vegas. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was sick as a dog over Martin Luther King weekend. The 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 recurrence, these variants, the long COVID. Have you ever seen in your, you know, and I I did infectious disease at UCLA, and uh, like you said, a lot of HIV, tuberculosis, syphilis. We had. I've never seen a virus sure. though continually come back or hit us again two three weeks later. Uh, I mean, am I missing a class of viruses where this was more common and we just didn't know about it? Uh, no, I don't know. I mean, I think, you know, when, when I first thought about the disease and when I first had it, uh, I thought, okay, I've had the disease because I was, uh, I had my serum tested in April of 2020, and I found out that I was IgG positive for SARS-CoV-2. And I just thought, okay, I'm protected. I'll never get it again. You know, I have naturally acquired immunity. And then I got it two more times after that. So mm-hmm. uh, I don't know. Um, I think yeah. that there are different variants. And, and, you know, uh, Michelle Walensky, who's in charge of the CDC, just got vaccinated and just got COVID. So, you know, I just don't think we have great solutions uh, for this issue right now. Yeah, it's blown away. What was it like uh, rotating under Dr. Anthony Fauci? I loved him. I thought he was a god. I, I was impressed. Uh, you know, I hung on every word he said. And uh, I was, I, I just enjoyed working with him. He was very personable, kind, warm, very good with patients. So I had nothing but good things to say, uh, you know, at that rotation. That's good. Yeah, yeah. I know. I, I was a, uh, you know, George, Georgetown U. That's, that's a, that's a fantastic hospital. You must have seen a lot of pathology. Um, you know, what, what was some of the most, you know, interesting cases you remember seeing? Oh God. Um, you know, one that, that comes to mind uh, right now is somebody who, uh, you know, I, I had somebody who had HIV psychosis, and, and that scared Ooh. me because uh, he was pulling out his IVs, didn't really know what was happening. And so, like, that case was the first time I'd ever had to, you know, take over somebody somebody's life, and, and we put that, that man down and, and put him in an intensive care unit, paralyzed him, and put him on a breathing machine because he, he was out of his mind. So that mm-hmm. scared me. 
uh, it was one of the things that made it so that I thought, well, maybe I should do something else besides internal medicine. Mm, yeah, yes. When, and we love you. Dr. H.L. Greenberg is a board-certified dermatologist. He's known as Dr. Vegas. And um, you could follow him on TikTok, Instagram, um, um, Twitter. Dr. Greenberg, you know, we've, we've had a lot of changes r- recently, you know, with the mass mandates, Sisolak. What has your, been, your opinion, you know, with everything that's been going on? Well, like I said from the start, you know, when I did my rotation at NIH, you know, I was fit tested for the N95 mask. And I do think the N95 masks work, but I do think you need to be fit tested. And I think, you know, I know, I'm sure when you were in medical school, mm-hmm. uh, they taught you, you know, clean technique, sterile technique. Uh, how not to contaminate yourself or others. And the problem is, is as a society, we don't know those things. So you'll go to a restaurant, the waiter or waitress or the server, whoever's bringing your drink, will, you know, touch your drink, then touch somebody else's drink, wipe their nose, touch somebody else's drink. And, you know, we're, we're transmitting things all the time because mm-hmm. as a society, we just don't know proper clean or sterile technique. And these masks that we were, you know, when we were done, I, I found them on the strip. I saw them in schoolyards. Oh. You know, if these are biohazard, why aren't they going to biohazard? I, you know, I, I think I think oh. we we did it half-assed. Well, to your point, I mean, uh, you know, wearing a handkerchief around your face or, you know, a cloth mask or all these other masks, yes, I, I think that they may reduce transmission, okay? The question is, how much are they reducing transmission, and is the cost uh, worth the benefit? And I would argue, no, the cost is not worth the benefit, hasn't been worth the benefit. Uh, we've certainly suffered the repercussions here in Nevada worse than almost any other state. You know, and I'd like to point to free areas. I've lost a lot of friends over my thoughts on this, but mm-hmm. like Sweden, for instance, or, or Florida, where uh, there was more freedom allowed in those areas. Mm-hmm. And they did just as well or better than we did here in Nevada. And I think Sisolak paid the price by losing the election for you know his tyrannical and authoritarian uh, treatment of society with, with what he did. That wasn't as medically based, and they, they should have consulted you. Dr. Greenberg serves on the Clark County Medical Society as a board member, was immediate past treasurer of the Nevada Society of Dermatology and Dermatologic Surgery. You you would have really been a, a huge asset. Um, in the last minute or two, talk to us about Derm Bros. That, I, I love what you guys do. Oh. So uh, the Derm Bros is me and uh, Dr. David Cotter. Uh, He was a resident physician when I first met him at UNLV, and, you know, he won the award for best resident. And basically during the pandemic, we weren't seeing any patients, and we started uh, doing these Derm Bros lectures. Now we've done 13 of them talking about uh, acne, skin cancer, um, psoriasis, eczema, all lasers all the time, Botox fillers. And the last one we just did, uh, Derm Bros 13, was on uh, new medications for 2022 because there are so many great new medications in the dermatologic space, including mm. for eczema, psoriasis. Uh, it, it's a fantastic time to have disease if you have to have a disease. Mm-hmm. Dr. Greenberg, we're, we're definitely going to have you back. I mean, you know, there's, there's, there, you're a wealth of information. Um, um, how can people find out, how can people find you and get more information on, on what you do? So um, I'm on all the media at, at HL Greenberg. The name of the business is Las Vegas Dermatology. It's at LV Derm on all of the media, you know, Instagram, TikTok, whatever. And, uh, you know, we're just the Derm Bros, me and Dr. Cotter. So if you search Derm Bros, and we've been on the American Academy of Dermatology's Instagram page, we took over the page for the day. You know, the most important thing for us is to do right uh, by our patients. We're patient advocates. And you know, we also want to have fun while we're doing it. And Derm Bros is very much that. So I, I so much appreciate what you do uh, for the medical community and speaking out. And uh, I really appreciate you having me on your show. Oh, my gosh. Anytime. Can't wait to have you back. Love you, Dr. Greenberg. Um, uh, Check them out, guys, at Derm Bros and Las Vegas Dermatology. All right. You take care. All right. Thank you. All right, guys. Don't go away. We'll be right back. 1-877-DOCTOLLY. 